We're living in difficult times, and in these times, sometimes you get stuck in a wooden shed with nothing but toilet paper. This isn't entirely true. I just had to go here because the house is not quiet enough and I can't shoot there. But anyway, but I did in, in fact not take enough fabric with me, or rather took the wrong fabrics with me when I was running away from the plague to the countryside. And that resulted in me having nothing but toilet paper when it comes to white fabrics. And it actually does make a lot of sense in terms of 18th century, like if I imagine this situation in the 18th century, and I think of 18th century fashionable ladies, it would 100% make sense for them to have stuff made out of a rare commodity that is toilet paper and to flaunt it and to show off how much you have. So this is why I decided to make whatever is white when it comes to the whole outfit, which means a cap, a fichu and perhaps some engagements and just make it work. I'm gonna make it work. <laughs> Maybe this title was a little clickbaity because I'm not actually making a whole outfit like I'm not making a dress or a gown But that is also because it is a sensitive topic like wasting toilet paper these days may seem quite controversial And I just want you to know that I am a responsible toilet paper user And I'm just gonna waste a little amount and I might use it afterwards just to make it clear here that I'm not wasting more than one roll of toilet paper and it might be sensitive content like some of you might not like to see it in, in these times you know using a whole roll of toilet paper can be considered um sensitive topic and i i fingers crossed youtube does not demonetize this video because it's um it's difficult to see but anyway i'm willing to take this risk and um and risk it okay anyway let's let's ju let's jump into it if someone told me two weeks ago I'll be doing this, I would probably laugh, but here we are. So first off, I wanted to make ruffles for the cap, but then I changed my mind and I made it into the engagements thingies. So I started off by taking two strips of seven leaves of toilet paper and then cutting it into sort of like an oval shape and sewing it together and then gathering it so it makes a one layer of the engagement so i decided to, to take like two layers of it one would be smaller and the other one would be bigger and that's what i did and it turned out that it's really easy to gather toilet paper you guys it's so convenient because it just stays the way you put it so it's really cool and then when two layers were done i sewed both of them together and then i sewed them to the dress because why not and that's that's an engagement set Yay! So then I went on to make a cap and I needed a substantial amount of toilet paper made fabric so I had to join a couple of strips of toilet paper that were I think six leaves long <laughs> but then I decided to add one more strip because it turned out it's not square enough it, I needed it to be square because I needed it to cut it into a circle shape later so I sewed all of them together and I was a bit worried that the seam would not lay flat but it turned out you just have to kind of touch it and then it stays flat so then I cut the square into a huge sort of a circle obviously not super even because I don't care and then I measured my head using a toilet paper obviously to see how long the headband should be and I remembered that I had to still put my hair up so it should be a little bit wider and then I folded the headband in half like sideways <laughs> and then I took the cap that I already cut out and I gathered it and sewed it onto the headband head whatever you call it uh, so it turned out that I was a little bit too gentle generous when gathering fabric some of it stayed flat like some of it was not gathered at all but I, I put it in the back because I didn't care then I folded the headband in half and I stitched it in place from the inside So then I took some other strips of fabric and I gathered them and I sewed them together because I forgot it's a roll, you can literally just, just keep sewing it because it's a roll, but anyway. And then that's how I made the cap ruffle. So then I sewed the ruffle to the cap uh, directly on the headband. I should have done it by hand, but you know what? Why should I be historically accurate when I'm making something out of a toilet paper? So who cares? 
And that's the cap. The cap turned out a little bit smaller than I expected, but it was still big enough. And then I had some leftovers from the engagants, so I decided to make that into a bow, 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 whatever you call it, um, right in front, so I stitched that on top of my cap. Oh, that's by the way, that's some pancakes on my sleeve right there. And then all that was left to do was a fichu, so I used my table as a sort of pattern board and I basically filled it in with the paper, but it turned out I don't have enough paper, so I had to do the unthinkable and get some more from our bathroom and no one noticed, so shut up and don't tell them. So then I stitched all of these together and it turned out it's not entirely a square, so I had to cut some, some bit of it off, but that's how I made a fichu. It's basically a square folded in half. I just improvised this sorry illusion of an updo and I'm gonna try it all on. So this is how it turned out and the engagants are actually a bit anachronistic in this specific outfit because this outfit is supposed to be like 1780s and these were, would probably not be worn at that time because it was quite an old trend by then but you know what, who's going to judge historical accuracy of a toilet paper garment, right? Some things I learned while making this was that it's quite easy to work with toilet paper as, as long as you're gentle with it and you don't make sudden movements. So obviously it, you don't need to hem it, so that saved me a lot of work when it comes to the ruffles. Also gathering is quite easy because you just have to push it under the foot of the sewing machine and it basically stays like that, it's super crispy. The only thing I didn't quite like was the fact that this specific toilet paper had a yellow sort of pattern on it which made it look slightly like it was already used. So no yellowish toilet paper guys, please. <laughs> it looks like I peed on it. Guys, it's a look. I feel so incredibly luxurious and rich right now. I am a wealthy person. I can afford to waste toilet paper in these times. I feel so privileged, but at the same time, very, very luxurious and extravagant. So next time you find yourself in a similar situation, maybe, you know, maybe a duchess has invited you for a hunting and you really need something to wear. Maybe um, you're supposed to be presented at the court and you don't know what exactly to do because you don't have any fabric. This is what you have to go for. Super easy, very effective and quite... I... Mm, uh nice i actually i think i'm gonna keep this because it just gives you this really nice crisp silhouette fichu i'm not a fan mainly because the same issues i had with a fichu made of fabric are here except it's 10 times worse so and those though like it all works it works so well and also i eventually had to waste only one roll of toilet paper which i think is quite considerate we're gonna survive these next weeks because we're all stocked in toilet paper and as you can see, it doesn't only have one purpose. It doesn't only have one thing you can do with it. I'm pretty sure you could make a whole gown of it. However, I don't feel that confident in our toilet paper supply. So yeah, stay safe and healthy and, and have a good day, fellow toilet paper users.